as it does today. And it's a real pleasure to be standing here opening this facility that um, will serve us well, probably only for the next four or five, six years because we're growing so fast. But the, the pleasure allied to that is the fact that it shows how resilient the Greek economy and how robust the Greek exporters are. There are so many things, so many fantastic things going on in Greece that you can't really imagine because if you're in your own industry of pharmaceuticals, you may not know it. If you're in your own industry of textiles, you may not know it. But the other pleasure that we have working for DHL Express is that as we wander around our facilities in the evening and we look at the way bills on the shipments, we see someone is exporting agribusiness from Athens or elevator parts from Athens or pharmaceutical, we see people bringing in aviation parts for Aegean. So we really have this view of our business from the highest level. And um, if it weren't for the success of the Greek economy, then we wouldn't be opening this facility. We wouldn't be putting in this material handling equipment. And I can tell you there is no overcapacity in this building. You know, within months, this will be running to someone, if they were to come from the outside, they would see it as nearly full. So that's a great sick story. And I congratulate all of you for those people that have built up and led businesses that are so sex successful here in Greece. Now, Terrace touched upon the story of DHL a little bit. In 1969, in a corner office of 400 California Street, there was literally one shipping document that was moved to Hawaii to release the ship. And there is no country more familiar, and there goes an aircraft now, uh, than, um, than Greece to understand the shipping industry. So to release the ship from its port so that it could travel somewhere around the world, pick up more goods, and, uh, and offload them. And then the next night we moved two documents, and two shipping documents, and from that we grew. So our first customers were banking customers and, and ship owners and shipping lines. And then we moved through to uh, vehicle off-road and aircraft on ground. So emergency spare parts, something highly valuable that was only so big that was needed to allow an aircraft to fly. It was needed in Saudi Arabia to have a, uh, an oil rig start pumping again. So the engineers in Yanbu or Taif were waiting and we delivered that part. And then in the 80s, we moved from a document company that moved packages to a package company that moved documents. We emerged into the world of, um, of trade. And that is really what we do. We move the wheels of trade. We allow trade to be facilitated, whether it's trade on e-commerce and the internet, or whether it's in more traditional sectors like aviation and automotive and pharmaceutical. And, um, you know, that's how we ended up where we are today. And there is no doubt in my mind that some of our very first customers that started shipping us with us in Greece. They gave us the shipments on the first day that we opened are uh, with us today. And um, I thank you for that loyalty. I thank you for that trust. Over on the wall there, it says, um, quality is not an art, it is a habit. Uh, as spoken by your great uh, philosopher and scientist, Aristotle. And that's the mentality we have. We're building a business on quality. Because as someone once said, if you build a better mousetrap, the world will be to pass to your door. And so it is with DHL Express. If we deliver the highest levels of quality for every single package that we get. And don't forget, the fascinating thing about Air Express is people aren't buying one car from us one day and then they come back in five years and buy one more car. Some of our largest shippers are giving us 200, 300, 400 parcels a day. So the quality system in DHL Express has to be so finely tuned, and you'll see a little bit of it today, to enable every single one of those parcels, not just every day, but every week and every month and every year, so that over 200 million parcels globally get to their destination on time. And um, I want to thank uh, Left Terrace particularly, and his senior management team, and all the people who work for DHL Express 
in Greece, whether from uh, Larissa, whether from Salonika, or whether from here in Athens, for everything they do every day to keep our system working. And perhaps you'll join me in thanking them.